Now we're going to move on to warehouses. Acumatica supports a multiple warehouse setup as well as multiple locations within each warehouse. Now once this loads, we'll see a list of warehouses in the system. Throughout Acumatica, you will see similar generic inquiries which display lists of data like this. If we choose one line item and we click on this icon here to the side, within the inquiry screens, you can see the details of a line item using the side panel feature. Here can we, we can review the warehouse settings and make changes without having to navigate to another screen. The side panel can be expanded and condensed as needed. The warehouse configuration has options for location entry. Do not allow on the fly is a setting where all locations must be configured here in the warehouse setup prior to being chosen in transaction screens. Warn but allow, the users are warned if they enter a location that has not been previously created for the warehouse. And allow on the fly, users can specify a new location within the transaction screens. At the bottom, we have a list of bin locations that are created for each warehouse and configured using the checkboxes to make them available during certain transactions. If you have a location for damaged unsellable product, you would uncheck the box for sales allowed, so product from that location cannot be chosen during a shipment. Additionally, default locations can be set up for the warehouse for receiving, shipping, RMA, and dropship. We'll take a quick look at availability. Item availability within Acumatica can be calculated based on multiple rules with different configurations. The availability calculation rules have many different options to include or deduct quantities from the on-hand quantity to determine availability. Using these rules, each item class can have a unique availability configuration.